For most travelers, visiting Japan is like visiting another planet. Tokyo's futuristic skyscrapers extend to every point on the horizon. Its colossal billboards pulse and shimmer, lighting up whole city blocks. Fantastic, too, are the sleek bullet trains that race across pastoral landscapes at frightening speeds. And Kyoto's demure, kimono-clad women strolling through the pine-shaded courtyards of ancient Zen temples appear like visions from a dream. In all of its everyday expressions, Japan is enchanting, bewildering, and intimidating. But if you're a food professional or simply an enthusiast, you need to go there. So join us as we explore Japan from north to south. We'll stop at Tokyo's enormous Skiji Market, known for its astonishing selection of seafood, and we'll dine at some of Kyoto's famed kaiseki restaurants, like Hayotei, a first-class establishment serving customers for more than 400 years. Japan's cultural identity reflects the country's long isolation. Until the latter half of the 1800s, Japan remained largely closed to foreigners and to international trade. Separated geographically from the rest of Asia and secluded by choice, Japan became a gastronomic Galapagos. Without contact from the Western world and with limited influence from its neighbors, China and Korea, Japan's cuisine evolved in unparalleled ways. Even today, many of the staples of the Japanese kitchen are rarely used elsewhere. Fundamental Japanese ingredients like shoyu, miso, tofu and dried bonita shavings known as katsubushi have only recently infiltrated Western markets and kitchens. Perhaps this is one reason why outsiders find Japan's dining traditions mysterious, intriguing, and at times even a little daunting. Sushi, now a popular takeout choice in supermarkets, was at first regarded by Americans as suspicious or even risky. Today, Japanese dining in America goes well beyond sushi bars and Benihana-style steakhouses. Consumers are flocking to Japanese noodle bars for udon soup and to the trendy Japanese-style drinking establishments known as izakaya. In Japan, the top restaurants now serve a very discriminating international audience. Japan has more restaurants per person than any other country in the world. Michelin awarded its top three-star rating to six Kyoto restaurants, all specializing in Japanese cuisine. In sum, 85 restaurants in Kyoto received a combined 110 Michelin stars. Sophisticated diners and chefs everywhere now have their eyes on Japan. An elegant tradition like kaiseki, the intricate multi-course dining ritual derived from Buddhist tea ceremonies, has become a culinary art form to master. Top American chefs are probing the nuances of kaiseki, seeking ideas for their own menus.